Hi hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. So feel free to suggest anything that you guys want us to react to. We'll be more than glad to react to it. Just drop the name or the link down below, and we'll check it out. Uh, thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Thank you for continuously subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. We really, really appreciate. Please continue to motivate us by suggesting stuff for us to react to. I really hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. You can actually find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Just head there. Feel free to say hi and we'll say hi back. We love to make friends. And you can check out our second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we put out there. So today, I'm actually going to be reacting to India vs. World, Uniqueness of India. Interesting. We're looking at something else. Um, so, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for more updates. Hi friends, welcome to Bio Passionate channel. Today I am going to talk about the uniqueness of India. There are 195 countries in the world today. Every country is a unique in their culture, language, food habits, race and religion and extravaganza. Let's talk how India is quite different from other countries. India has 17.74% of the total world population. That means approximately 137 crore 2 lakh 59,408. Approximately 31% of Indians are vegetarians, while another 9% consume eggs. Do you know? Only 3.2% of Americans are vegetarians. The largest populated country, China, has 4 to 5 percentage of vegetarians. Traditional countries like India, marriage is the biggest celebration in their life. Choosing a partner is not easy as like other countries. It should be a traditional or orthodox means elders in a family choose a broom or bride. Arranged marriage is common in India and they spend minimum 50% of their lifetime earnings during the marriage. Marriage is a traditional prestige for them. India has more than 2 million Hindu temples recorded during 2011 census. Most of the temples were constructed during ancient period. Amongst them, Ananta Padmanabha temple is the richest temple in the world which is located in Kerala at Tiruvananthapuram. It was constructed between 500 BCE and 300 BCE. More than $22 billion worth of gold, jewels and statues have been unearthed from five walls. The final estimated value of the monumental items is close to 1.2 lakh crores or 1.2 trillion. Everyone likes gold and diamond. Gold has a unique property that does not corrode easily. Along with China, India is by far the world's largest importer and consumer of gold. 20-25% of global production is consumed by India. By volume, the country imports about 700 tons a year, accounting for over a fifth of world jewelry fabrication. Movies are the greater part of entertainment in our life. They make us joy, cry, feel and so on. Most of the Hollywood movies are action, adventurous and thriller. But most of the Indian movies are musical. Indians try to express the situation and feelings through the music and lyrics. Songs are the major parts in Indian cinema. <laughs> Salam, 
Festivals are meant to unite the souls. Indian Hindu Kumbh Mela is one amongst them. Kumbh Mela is the largest human gathering on the earth. An estimated 120 million people visited Maha Kumbh Mela over a period of two months. Over 30 million on a single day. India is the largest democratic country. India facing many problems like castes. There are 3000 castes and 25000 subcastes in India, each related to a specific occupation. All people living together in a harmony, but political reservations making them quite different. Interesting. Uh, when it comes to the population, they uh, actually said, I was reading the other day that they might take over China to be the highest country with the highest population in the world. Um, that's just something. I'm actually shocked that 30% of the population is are vegans, are vegetarians, vegans, whatever it is. I'm very, very shocked. Why? What has inspired that lifestyle? Especially for 30 percent. I don't even think 30 percent of Zambians are vegetarians, you know. And hmm, is it because of their religion? Is it because I don't understand the culture? What is it? Uh, another thing I found shocking was the fact that they spend. I mean, weddings are important, yes, but spending half of um. Your life savings on your wedding, wow. Then you must really, really love the person that you're getting married to because what other explanation could you have? And I know many people really love big celebrations. Yes, that I get. But why not just start saving for your wedding so that you don't have to spend your life savings, you know? Otherwise, um, people believe it's either you go big or go home. So you have to do what you have to do. You have to do what makes you happy. Otherwise, that's very, very interesting, you know. Uh, it, they also spoke about the temples. When it comes to the temples, um, can anyone actually visit the temples or is it restricted to a certain group of people? That I'd love to know. Otherwise, I really know nothing about temples, you know. I know temples exist, I know, but I don't think I have that much information to actually give more insights otherwise it was said they have the richest they have the most temples and have the richest temples temple not temples temple and yeah although it makes me wonder what was going through the people that were constructing these temples what inspired them to build these temples the way they built them i'd really really love to know the history behind that uh they also spoke about was it the movies if you've watched an Indian movie, then you know that music doesn't miss. I don't think I've ever watched a movie without an Indian movie without uh, music there. They really, really, really love to sing. Really, really love to sing. Uh, there's one that I watched that I was just like, uh-uh. I need to take a break from this movie. What movie was it? It's actually on Netflix. Where this guy had to fight a whole bunch of... I don't even know if it was prisoners, if it was what. It was interesting, it was funny, but it was funny and very, very interesting. Otherwise, when it comes to music, they really do their thing because music doesn't miss out of their stuff. And I guess that's their style of doing things. I love that because it's unique. They stuck to that throughout their movies, I would love to believe. And they spoke about the consumption of gold as well. Um, why is it that it's the highest? Is it because they love to dress fancy? Is it because it means something to them traditionally, culture-wise? What is it? Because it spoke about gold being an assumption, being consumed for uh, all these things. Maybe that are worn, be it chains, be it what, all those things. Also, I'm actually a big, big fan of seeing people gather because of a certain event. 
whatever event it is i'm really not biased when it comes to that so if the event that was mentioned along this video was um means something to the people that's nice but what's what's the event about why do they gather because having more than 30 million people visit whatever that was that would be very very interesting i don't know how to pronounce it that's why i'm saying that referring to it as that what does the event actually mean what does it do for the people is it just coming together having a good good time or just meeting with family celebrating with family what is it about that i'd love to know let me know what you guys think about this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video